everyone, welcome back, or welcome if you are new. Today I have a different type of video for you guys, but I wanna take you along with me shopping for some Harry Potter merchandise. But I don't wanna do just any kind of shopping, I wanna do some thrifting. I wanna find some deals, some steals, see what kind of Harry Potter merchandise I can find locally here in Southwest Florida. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> All right, so before I leave my house, I wanna show you one item that I just purchased off of Poshmark. It came in this week and I was so excited about it. It was such a good deal. It is a new wand. So this is one that someone got at the Wizarding World in Universal Studios in Orlando and it is an interactive wand. I got George Weasley's wand. So this is one of the twins. Here is the base of the wand. Here is the licensing information is so beautiful, I love all the detailing. So this is how you can tell that it's an interactive one. This is where the magical tip is. So you can do some spells inside the parks with this one. So these currently go for $59 in the park. They did raise their prices recently and that is just crazy to me. I think that's so much money for a wand. So it got me thinking, I wonder if there's any wands on like eBay, Poshmark, OfferUp, places like that. So I just started doing some searching and there are quite a few ones. Some are not that good of a deal. You're really paying once you get to shipping, almost the same that you'd pay if you're going in the park. If you're not able to get to a park, maybe that would be a better option for you. When I saw this for only $20, I could not pass that up. So I went ahead and bought it. I actually just submitted an offer and they accepted it. And I think this is such a great deal. I mean, for all I know, it could be broken. I guess I'll find out the next time I end up going to the parks. I will definitely bring it with me and see if it works. But either way, $20 for a wand is still a good deal. And I can never find the Weasley Twins. I think they're only selling them on Noble Collection as a set. But correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But I never see their wand, so I thought that was even more special. Now I just need Fred's wand so I can complete the set, but I am so happy with this one. So here is a close up of what the box looks like. So it just says Ollivander's on it. And here is the back side, so you can see the stamp for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios. And then here is the pretty side of the box. And I love that they even have the box because sometimes you can find it for those prices, but they're like no box included. They don't have that, they didn't keep it kind of thing. So I am so happy with my first bargain purchase, but let's go ahead and see any other goodies that we can find. First stop is Goodwill. Okay, so I did my first stop and I went to a Goodwill. I just grabbed one of these bags while I was there. They're 99 cents. And then I only found books, but I did find a Harry Potter book and I got The Prisoner of Azkaban and their books for paperback were $1.99. And then all the hardcovers were, I think it said $3.99. And I ended up getting a Hunger Games book, Mockingjay. This one is a hardcover. I'll probably take the dust jacket off and just display the book by itself because it's so pretty. I think that'll look really nice on a bookshelf. And I have read the Hunger Games books. If you've read the Hunger Games books, let me know in the comments below. But I think they're so good. So I was like, that'll look cute on a bookshelf. I never buy hardcover books unless I like want to display them. I actually prefer reading paperback books. Let me know if you guys have a preference or it doesn't matter. And then the last two things I got were some Game of Thrones books. Like these are some thick, chunky books. These normally retail for $17 each and I got them both for $2, so not bad. And I've always wanted to read these. I have the first one and I never got to it, but now I've got two and three, I think that it goes 
Feast of Crowns, and then Storms of Swords. And I think there's five total in this series, but I'm excited to get those in my reading book list. <laughs> but those are everything that I ended up picking up at Goodwill. Let's go on to the next door. Okay, so I have popped into a couple thrift stores now. No luck. I only showed you that first one I went into, which was a Goodwill. And I found a Harry Potter book, but I haven't really found anything else. So I've been striking out a little bit. So I even went to my local mall because it was like right next door to it. And they have a Hot Topic there and they have a Books a Million. Yeah, a Books a Million. So they had two things on sale at Books a Million. They had the snow globe that I have. I'll pop it on the screen here. And they had that on sale for $50 and it's normally $80. So that's a good deal. So if you wanted that and you have a Books a Million, I would check them out. They also had this other like mystery box kind of thing, but it shows you exactly what's going to be inside it. And that was $10 off, but neither one of them is something that I needed. Then I went into Hot Topic and I wanted to see if they had anything. They didn't really have much on sale. They had one item on sale, so I, I did buy that. And then they had one other item that is brand new to their store. The girl saw me in the Harry Potter section and she's like, oh, I have to show you this, it's in the back. So she brought it out and it's this super cute cardigan. Let me show you. So they have it in all four houses. So of course I got Gryffindor and it is so cute, okay. So it's a cardigan and it has the Gryffindor embroidered into the stitching and then it's the sleeves that are so cute. Okay, so can you see this? It has the Gryffindor patch and then some more swords and stars and everything. It's just so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, so that is the sleeve and then it just has the Gryffindor here and then on the other side is the exact same. It's so pretty. And when I get back home, I could probably show you a little better, but super exciting, so I had to get that. And this one was $54.90. The item that was on sale was this like loungewear set. So it came with this super cute little Gryffindor crop. They had it in all four houses. They were on sale for $25. They're normally $44.90. And I also got this in a medium and it came with these shorts. And it has a little Gryffindor crest on the corner there. And it's in this cute like tie-dye, pinkish red color. I think it's supposed to be red, but it's kind of pink. So I got those two things. And now I'm actually at a home goods, so I'm gonna pop in there, see if they have anything Harry Potter, check them out. They even have a TJ Maxx next door. I will see what they have and I will let you guys know. Okay, so I am back in the car and I am soaking wet. It is pouring outside right now. And I did end up finding something at TJ Maxx. So there's a Home Goods and TJ Maxx right next to each other. Which Home Goods didn't find anything, but when I went to TJ Maxx, I got a couple things. I got dry shampoo. And then I ended up getting two of these cauldron mugs, I guess is what you would call it. So it has the Hogwarts crest on it. And then if you can see in the back, so there's also a little handle on it. And these were $6.99. It says normal retail price is $12. So that was my TJ Maxx find. And I didn't find really anything at Home Goods, but I did find one thing for my dog. I got her this little toy, so I might as well show you. But you just put the food in here and then she has to push it around and the food will come out of it. So she will love these. She loves these like kind of brain games to get extra treats and stuff. So got that at Home Goods, And this was originally $14, but it was on clearance for six bucks. So thought that was a good deal. All right, so that was everything. And maybe I could try to stop into one more thrift store on my way back home. And we'll check that out and see if I can find anything. But so far I feel like I did pretty good for just like going randomly on a Monday out to these shops and stuff and seeing if I could find anything Harry Potter. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys go thrift shopping? Do you find things pretty often where you're at? Do you ever think about going to find things secondhand? I know personally, I love getting good deals. So like, even if that means getting it secondhand, I am totally okay with that. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys do that often? I think it's a good idea to kind of check out. Even if you're just doing it online and you're not going physically into a thrift store, 
there's so many of those online shops where you can find things secondhand at a good value. But that's going to be it for TJ Maxx and Home Goods. So let's see what else we can find. <laughs> All right, so I'm officially back home now and I wanna show you everything that I got just now that I'm sitting down and not inside my car anymore. <laughs> so first, I showed you the wand that I got off of Poshmark. So that was George Weasley's wand, if you wanna look at it again. So this is George Weasley's wand and it's interactive because it's got that tip. So that was my first buy. Next, I went to Goodwill and I ended up getting one of their totes. They're 99 cents, just so I could carry my stuff around when I was in the store but I ended up only getting books from them. So I got two Game of Thrones books because I've always wanted to read them. I have the first one and I started it and I never got to finish it. I just got busy and I forgot. So now I have the second and third one. So they're in really good condition. Like look how clean the pages are. I mean, if you're a thrifter, you know that they're not always clean, no highlights. I'm not even sure if whoever had this read it, but I am happy to have it now. So, or they just took really good care of it. So now I have that. I wanna get the complete set and put it on a bookshelf eventually. I need to get more bookshelves. I know I'm a broken record. <laughs> then I got the Mockingjay from the Hunger Games series. And I thought the dust jacket looked kind of damaged, but I think they look so cute without the dust jacket on. Like they're so pretty. It has that silver foiling with the Mockingjay on it. And then here is the bind of the book. And it's in pretty good condition other than the dust jacket. So the pages are very clean. There's no highlights or anything like that. And last but not least from Goodwill, I got the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So this one definitely is pretty old. So there's no highlights or anything, but it's not in like the best condition. I would consider it kind of poor. You can see like how colored the pages are and there's some staining and even the spine of the book, it has some worn edges. So I would consider this more of like a poor condition, but something I'm gonna mention, and I don't wanna upset anybody, I am thinking closer to Christmas time, I wanted to make some ornaments and I've seen people repurpose old Harry Potter books and use them to make like DIY projects and things like that. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed this. It was only $2. It's been used. I'm sure plenty of people have been able to read it before. So for that reason, I think I'm going to use it to DIY with it. And we still have plenty of time. We're only in July, so that probably will be later down in December, but I thought might as well grab it while I can get it pretty cheap. I did end up going to another thrift store. I didn't film in there because I didn't find anything. And then I ended up going to the mall and I found some other stuff. So my last store that I went into was another thrift store. It wasn't a Goodwill. It was just another local one by me. I did find the Chamber of Secrets. And this one was actually in pretty good condition. Very clean. The spine doesn't even look like it's been bent before. It does have a little bit of aging right there. But other than that, I mean like the actual cover is really nice and this one was only one dollar so i think that was a great find and again if i do want to repurpose to diy i do have now two books that i got from thrift stores so these are the two so i've got chamber of secrets and i have prisoner of Azkaban now so those are my harry potter finds at thrift stores so i didn't find anything else harry potter in the thrift stores i didn't go through all the clothing they just have so much of that so maybe there was something clothing wise harry potter and i just didn't find it i kind of was just going through it pretty quickly because i knew i wanted to kind of pop in and go to a different store. And I didn't want to just spend too much time at just one store. So that is the reason why I didn't look through all the clothes, but I'm really happy with the few things that I did find. But I also went to the mall because I wanted to check out Books A Million and see if they had any deals. And I talked to you guys about that in the car. They did find a couple things, just nothing that I was interested in. So I went over to Hot Topic that they have in the mall and I found a couple things. So here is my Hot Topic bag. So like I was showing you before, I got a cardigan and then I got this like loungewear set. So I know it's kind of hard for me to show you in the car earlier, so I'm just gonna show you real quick here. So this is part of the loungewear set. This one was on sale for $25 and they had a buy one, get one 30% off deal as well. So I got an additional 30% off of this price. 
but this is the Gryffindor set and they had it in all four houses and it's got that really cool tie-dye effect to it. And then these are what the shorts look like. It does have pockets that you can use as well and a little drawstring and it just has the Gryffindor crest right here on the bottom. So I think that's super cute. So that is the loungewear set. And then here is the cardigan and the gorgeous sleeves. They're so pretty. I'm obsessed with this. I could not pass it when I saw it <laughs> and it has the Gryffindor name right here on the top and it's just an open knitted cardigan. I'll put it on. So this is what the cardigan looks like. The sleeves are so cool. I'm obsessed with this. So I'm so happy I got this and I got mine in a size medium. So it's so pretty. <laughs> Not a thrift find but still really cute find at Hot Topic. And then I went into Home Goods and TJ Maxx. I didn't find anything at Home Goods, but I did find some stuff at TJ Maxx. I just got some dry shampoo. This is the one that I buy. And then I got my two Harry Potter items. And I also got this like fake plant. I thought it was so cute. It's all tangled up now, of course. But I got this really cute fake plant. I think these are so pretty. So it kind of has that waterfall effect. It just drapes over. And when I do get a second shelf, I want to put this on it because I like that pop of green in my shelf. So I have this one that I have like a bunch of greenery wrapped around like the legs of the shelf. And I think that's so pretty. So I want to put this on one of them. So when I do get that second one, I went ahead and grabbed this because when you see something at TJ Maxx or Home Goods, you're not probably going to run into it again. And this one retailed for $12.99. So that is my plant I bought. And then the two Harry Potter items that I found at TJ Maxx, they're the same thing. So they're these cauldron mugs and they're so pretty. And I got two of them. I'm thinking about maybe doing a giveaway in the future with these. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed a second one. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Possibly when I hit 2000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. I think I want to curate a box for you guys and do a big giveaway for hitting 2000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to do so. So you can be on the lookout for that and qualify for one of these mugs and the other items that I end up putting together into a box. I think that would be a lot of fun, but let me show you what it looks like. And here's just a closer look of the mug. I know I showed you in the car, but if you didn't get a good look of it, I want to show you here in the cute little feet on the bottom. So adorable and the Hogwarts crest in the front. So I love this little cauldron mug. But that is everything that I found today. Trying to look for deals of Harry Potter at thrift stores, at different shops that I went into locally here in Southwest Florida. So let me know in the comments below if you like to go thrifting, if you ever find any cool Harry Potter finds, and even online places like Poshmark, eBay, things like that. I definitely like to be on the lookout for some good deals. And also while I was out, I ended up getting a package. It's from Lit Joy Crate. I got something from a box because I haven't been subscribed to them, but there was something I saw other people unboxing and I was like, I need that piece so bad. So let's see if you guys know which one I am talking about. There is an item that they've had and it is so cool. They did it so well and I was like, I need that in my collection. <laughs> so I'll give you guys the first look. <gasps> it's so gorgeous. So this is Neville's Remember All and it is glass. It's so pretty and it has like this smoky effect inside. The details on it are just so cool. And when I saw that they had this in one of the recent boxes, I was like, I need this. And I think it also comes with a stand. Yes, it does. Okay, so that must be in here. So it also comes in this little stand so you can have it sit on your shelves and you can display it however you want to. And it's so pretty. And not only is it a display stand, it also is a light. Oops, mine's a little finicky. So this is it lit up. I know it's a little bright in here so you can't see it real well. Oh, there you can see it pretty good. My hand on there. So when it's red, it means he must have forgot something. So this is so cool. And then when it's just white in that milky color, that means you haven't forgotten anything. I love this. It's so nice to have. I definitely wanted to add this to my collection on my bookshelf. I thought it was a very cool, unique piece. And if you didn't notice on the top of this box, it says the only problem is I can't remember what I have forgotten. So even their boxes are so nice. It's like a magnetic topper too. It's like you just want to keep everything that they come out with. I think they're $35 and then I ended up having a coupon. It said I had a coupon on there for $5 off. So if you aren't already, 
make sure you're a member because they have reward points and that's how I can afford to get some of these pieces when they have them just as like one-offs and I am so excited. I did subscribe to them so I will be getting their next box that they come out with. I think it's coming out in like the next month or so but definitely be on the lookout for that video. I'll record it and do an unboxing with you guys. But that is going to be Neville's Room of Brawl. So it's just like a little bonus item since I got it in the mail, I might as well show you guys. Now that is going to conclude today's video. If you wanna see me do more thrifting hauls and things similar to this video, let me know in the comments below. And if you liked today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye! Are you excited? You excited? Okay. So there's dog food inside and Valerie's excited. <laughs> she already got it. Okay. <laughs> I think she has more fun rolling it around. Than even grabbing the dog food. Bella, are you gonna get the dog food? <laughs> she's so silly. Now she's getting it. <laughs> yep, that's it. Good girl, Bella.